Good morning YouTube, my name is Samuel Gordon and this is my competition entry for the Connect for Climate campaign due to close on April the 1st, 2014. So this morning, this is my solution, my fun, inspiring way to tackle climate change and I invite you to join me in making it happen. The approach is called Zap It and that stands for Zero Emissions at Point of Use. When we zap it, we replace emitting objects with alternatives that emit nothing at the point that they're used. Now to give you an example, here's my trusty friend, the kettle. Let's say I'm in England and I want to make a cup of tea, because stereotypically that's what we do over here. Now under the approach of cutting emissions, this is an activity that would make me feel guilty, because somewhere along the way, might be miles away, some power station is having to burn coal to produce the electricity for this, and I'm responsible under the approach of cutting emissions. But, under the ZEPIC campaign, this is a ZEP. At the point of use, it emits nothing. So actually, I'm not responsible. Under this approach, I'm not responsible for the emissions. And I can boil my cup of tea without feeling guilty at all. Now you might say, well it's just an incentive to forget about the whole climate change thing, live out my everyday life. But actually, it's not, because it gives people the power to be role models. If I replace all the emitting objects in my house, and there may only be five of them, or three, you know, a heat pump, or a gas-fired boiler, or a gas-fired stove, with ZEP alternatives, I'm done. And that gives me the power to go and persuade my neighbours to change, in a way that the climate campaign, climate change campaign can't match. There's a lot of power in it. So this is starting to sound really good. But when I do go and talk to people, what do I say to them? Well, all we need to do is focus on five types of objects. Engines, boilers, furnaces, kilns, and stoves, all together account for up to 85% of the world's CO2 emissions. A bit vague about the number, we know it's around that, according to the IPCC. So when I'm encouraging other people to change, my message is very simple. Change five types of object, and you're done too. Change five types of object, zip it, zip it, zip it, zip it, and zip it, and we're mostly done. It's very simple, very powerful, and very positive. The only thing we need to focus on are the benefits of taking action. Doom and gloom doesn't matter. Rising emissions doesn't matter. Is there a benefit to replacing these five types of objects? Yes, do it. If not, increase the benefit. It's very, very forward focused. This is starting to get exciting. We can build momentum by focusing their attention onto one goal. For each of these five types of zips, we want them to get to 100% market share. Now the power in this is that now we start to draw businesses in. Each of these five products exists in million or billion dollar markets that are global. If businesses create and design and sell ZEPs for those objects, they're likely to get rich in the process. And not only that, but there's an incentive to act first. The current incentive of cutting emissions is to delay, because people are worried about the costs. With the ZEPIC campaign, that incentive is flipped on its head. Your incentive is to act now. You want that market share. You want to have the customers. And so all of a sudden, we've got a reason for this to pick up speed. If we want to gain further support, we need to focus on specific benefits to specific groups. For consumers, we want to make this easy and fun. The thing the climate change campaign lacks, it's not really that fun. But we can make the Zepic campaign fun. Create stickers, you know, brightly coloured stickers and put them on things. And then on the back side of those stickers include directions to a place where they can get advice. Bring consumers with you on the change. If they think it's too much of a hassle to change their boiler out for an electric boiler, find a way to make it easier for them. Let's take responsibility for that rather than demonizing the people who don't want to get on board. Secondly, businesses, as I've already said, it's all about the money. Show them the money. And the governments, they want to look good. If consumers and businesses are already leading this change, then the role for government is simply to increase the benefits. And that is a project that is far easier to pitch than trying to encourage them to spread out the costs of emissions cuts. So, in conclusion, we're focusing on one goal with the Zepic campaign. Get Zeps to 100% market share. We're engaging three groups with a very simple message and in a way that's easy for people to be role models. This campaign is the simplest and the most powerful way to solve the climate change problem. And if we zip it, if we get momentum behind this campaign, we will solve climate change within our lifetimes. Let's make it happen. Thank you.